Welcome to the Real Film Nerds Podcast. Welcome, listeners, one and all, to the continuation of the Real Film Nerds Podcast. This week it is episode 301. For those of you who are still curious, if you can enter the giveaway for our box set of John Wick, you can. We have not done the drawing yet. It's going to be a little bit. I'm going to wait until I actually get the physical box set at my house before we start doing the drawing. So you got probably a couple more weeks. Mike, how many people have entered? Like 20? Uh, Yeah, I think about 20. And so if you want to enter, you need to email that man right there, Mike Talent, at mike at realfilmnerds.com. And answer the question from last week. So go listen to the podcast to find out how you enter. Mike, this week, episode 301, we are officially in Christmas time. We are full swing Christmas. What are we going to call December? Because clearly we have Harvest Horror Fest in October. We're turning December into the Christmas time holiday special extravaganza. I don't know. But we're kicking it off with a musical, my favorite form of film with spirited starring ryan reynolds yeah man i know you love your musicals um i don't know what 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 should we call it dude what do you have something catchy what do you think like uh 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 jingle uh i don't know jingle reels i don't know mike you're the one that needs to come up with a, a fun thing because i could do all the other work so my brains are already exhausted trying to write and edit and do all this other shit. So you need to come up with a catchy thing for December. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, you um, have time, Mike, you have time. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it, but I uh, kind of want to go jingle something, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. Okay. We'll think about it. So Mike, while you're thinking about it, why don't you go ahead and give us the rundown for, the 2022 app original spirited all right matt so uh spirited was directed by uh sean anders and it was written by sean anders and john morris this movie is starring will farrell ryan reynolds octavia spencer patrick patrick page sunti mani uh tracy morgan and Joe Tippett. This is a musical version of Charles Dickens' story of a miserly misanthrope who is taken on a magical journey. Mike, how the hell do you mispronounce Patrick? I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> uh... So for those of you who are paying attention to the weekly Real Film Nurse podcast, Trinky came. That's at least one, maybe two or three drinks. Enjoy. We'll wait. Okay, Mike, so spirited. Let's roll into it. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a long podcast or not. Uh, depends how off topic we get. But, you know, spirited was mediocre at best. Like the best part about this freaking movie was the story. I thought the story was pretty good. And I don't know if I would say it's a take on Charles Dickens. I mean, it's definitely inspired by Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, but I think it's its own story. I really do. And it was it was fun. But that was it. The music was terrible. The singing and dancing terrible. Uh I I'm going to get hit in the face for this because you know I'm a huge huge fan of Ryan Reynolds. But it's just like Ryan Reynolds playing Ryan Reynolds. Like, does he not have any other characters? Like, I know he does. He's done them. He's done action. You know, you remember Underground 6? Oh, yeah. Or yeah. No, 6 Underground. That's what it was. 6 Underground. Yeah, 6 Underground. Bay Bang. Yeah. He wasn't typical Ryan Reynolds in that. I mean, there's a little Ryan Reynolds here and there, you know. But it's just, he was just being himself against Will Ferrell. Uh, man, you know, I, I think I, I'm going to disagree with you on this, man. I, I had a good time with it. Uh, I guess you did too, but you know, I didn't mind the music and I don't know. I, 
Yes, I guess Ryan Reynolds is kind of Ryan Reynolds like, but I don't know. I I, I thought it was good, man. I I guess you're thinking he just kind of was there and that wasn't wasn't working very hard. He phoned it in on his acting, but clearly he stepped it up on his singing and dancing. I think him and Will Ferrell actually did pretty good on their singing and dancing, even though I absolutely could live without it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. This movie had quite the stage production and stuff, man. Like, this, I don't, I don't know what this movie cost, but I don't know. I feel like they they really went all out with the, the different uh, dancing numbers and and all that stuff. It, I, I don't know. I had a good time with it. I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I didn't even know it was a Charles Dickens like take. So, Mike, are you going to watch Spirited every year with your family then? Is it a new talent family tradition? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to see if Mags wants to do that. Uh, we, we might. I don't know. There's... There's quite a few movies that have come into uh, like a family tradition where we watch like Elf and like Home Alone and and various movies like that. Uh, Die Hard. Yes. Oh, of course. Die Hard. You know, the classic Christmas movies. Um, You know, uh, I don't know. This, this This might make it on the list. So, Mike, speaking of uh, the talent family, where is Max? I thought she was going to make an appearance today. Well, you know, uh, we have some family in town, and and she's a little bit busy. You can just say she doesn't like me, Mike. You don't need to lie. Our listeners know when you lie. No, no, no. She she, she, she wanted to say hi, Matt, Maddie Cakes. She, she wanted to say hi. She said hi. All right, all right, fine. I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. I don't know if I like you saying Maddie Cakes, but hey, whatever. Yeah, you know, it happens, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, to get back on Spirited, Matt. Uh, yes, sir. So, who... Um, I was don't hurt at, yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're having a hard time thinking. I can tell you're really tired tonight. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was wondering, who do you think, like... Will Ferrell or Ryan Reynolds was like funnier in this. Like, uh, which, which, which one do you think was funnier? Uh, I liked Will Ferrell personally. Uh, I just, I think he was just pretty funny, especially, I'm not going to spoil it yet, especially what his character is and how he portrays it and how very elf like he portrays his character, even though it's really not in the end. But, uh, Mike, all I have to say to you is good afternoon. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Good, good job, man. That that, that makes but a lot of sense. I li- I like Ryan Reynolds. I mean, he's fine. You know, he he's one of my favorites. I mean, Deadpool. He he is the living physical embodiment of Deadpool. Like he just is. He's the perfect actor for that. And so I can't ever hate on the guy. But I just I wish it was a little different. I wish he was just a little different in this film. Okay, okay. Um, I really like uh, Octavia uh, Spencer's uh, character, Kimberly. I I thought she was uh, an interesting character in it, and I I like the uh, the scenes involving her. Yeah, no, she was good. I think she did a really good job. Um, I mean, there's a lot to this movie. There really is. There's a lot more going on than meets the eye. You know, with the um. Uh, Tracy Morgan playing one of the ghosts. Um, you know what? Patrick Marley, he was Patrick Marley, Patrick Page playing Marley. See, I did it too. You got it. You got it. me. Damn it, Mike. Uh, he, <laughs> gotcha. he, he was kind of like the guy in charge of everyone. I, I like that. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, you know, because everyone has a boss, clearly. Even in a Christmas Carol, everyone has a boss. Yes. True. So I don't know, Mike. I just, I, I it, it was okay. I'm just sticking with okay. It just, it just hurts you that you had to watch a musical. I'm sorry, man. I know it just, it's just rough sometimes. Dude, I don't hate musicals. They're just not my thing. I mean, I like West Side Story. That, that's a great musical, but 
I've said this many times on this podcast, for those of you who don't know, I tried to watch La La Land. Like, everyone loves La La Land and thinks it's this great film. I made it through 15 minutes of that thing and had to turn it off. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. La La Land is really good, dude. It's a good movie. No! I can't do it, Mike. I can't do it. Maybe I just need to be really drunk or I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get through musicals. You, you know what uh, musical that really surprised me, and I really love the music actually a lot? The Greatest Showman. Again, another one that everyone says I need to watch, being a movie guy, that I have not seen. Yeah, dude, that one was really good. And I watched La Miz with uh, Hugh Jackman, and that was really good. And Anne Hathaway. See, I know. I know these things. I just yeah. still haven't seen them. Yeah. No, I, I didn't think I would like it, but I actually kind of liked it. It was kind of embarrassing. But anyway, it was it was good. Mike, are you becoming a woman? Uh, No, I don't think so. Um, do have, Mike, do you have low T? You know, I probably do have low T. Um, I think that's pretty common uh in 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 uh men our age men so i think i'm gonna go get some low t therapy hallmark channel is that yeah, your therapy? i'm gonna go get the gel have you heard about the gel is that the hallmark channel gel and you just you just rub the gel on and and then you don't have low t anymore okay all right so it's like a lubricant yeah, kind of. <laughs> All right, Mike. Speaking of lubricants, I think you need to ask your question. Oh, yeah, Matt. What are you drinking this fine morning, evening, afternoon? <sighs> Whew. I wasn't sure we were going to make it or not. Okay, good job, Mike. Um, I'm drinking a beer from your former alma mater town. I'm drinking another one of those Lumberyard uh, Reds. Oh, nice, dude. The ra- Railhead Reds? Is that what it is? Yeah, Railhead Red, yeah. Yeah. Brewed at five at 7,000 feet. Yeah, Lumberyard Railhead Red. Yep. Mm-hmm. Flagstaff, Arizona. All right, go ahead. What IPA? All right, Matt. So I am drinking a uh, Terrapin... Uh, Luau Crunkles, which is a passion fruit orange guava IPA. Jesus, I think you had to have said one or two of those words wrong. So everyone take another drink. (laughs) No, no, those are all right. You're sure? 100%. Okay. Oh, I see him reaching for it, people. Here we go. On to the next one. Mike, uh, what's today's spirited Dad joke. I got dad jokes. I don't think they understand, though. Gotta think I'm funny. Other people never laugh, though. Dad jokes. All right, Matt. What's the best time on the clock? Happy hour. Everyone knows that. Uh, 6.30, hands down. God. Such a dad joke. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Mike. Okay, all right. Last part of our segment's and then we can get into the spoiler section. I, I, I'm ready to just end the podcast, but whatever. It's fine. Mike, oh, how... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Mike, how does Spirited relate to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, Matt... Uh, thanks for asking. So this one was a little bit of a, a, a challenge. Uh, I wasn't sure who I was going to get for this because it seemed like uh, when I was searching through the cast, I couldn't find anybody. But when I got down to the composer, uh, Dominic Lewis, I ended up finding a tie-in. And uh, he worked on the... Uh, uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. As Mike, can... you could have just gone with Ryan Reynolds. No, well, that's kind of cheating, right? Nope, Cause... it's not. 
Not anymore. It's not cheating anymore. Okay, so I talked about it. There was a trailer with Korg and Deadpool in it okay. on YouTube. So that Korg is from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Deadpool being in that trailer was the official introduction of Deadpool to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which Ryan Reynolds plays. Yeah, but it's still not quite... It's not a movie. You're right. It's not even a TV show. It's a trailer. Yeah, so I I wanted to go more concrete. Like, I if, if he was in an official MCU movie, I would have thrown it out there. But I don't know, man. I'm still just... I'm still adjusting to whether Deadpool is included in MCU or not. He is, because there is a Deadpool 3 film coming that is going to be Deadpool versus Wolverine. We talked about that, even though you still haven't watched the trailer, not the trailer, but the teaser for it. That's absolutely hilarious. But yeah, Hugh Jackman is reprising his role as Wolverine, and it is officially going to be part of the MCU. I think it's coming out in 2024. It might be 2025. It's a little ways away. Oh, wow. 2025 yeah that's it's a ways down the road yeah it's it, i think it's like the start of phase six and we just ended phase four and we're starting phase five in february is february when the first mo- movie comes out i think guardians is dropping in february i don't know i think guardians is one that's dropping i don't have this in front of me i'm just trying to go off my head but okay uh, yeah that sounds about right, man. It's either it's February and then maybe Guardians is the one that drops in May. I don't know. But we have a slew of MCU films coming next year, as always, and TV shows and everything. And it's officially the start of Phase 5. So, anyways, Mike, we're now in the spoiler section. So, uh, wake yourself up. Uh, slap yourself in the face. Uh, ready, set, go. You love this movie. All right, man. I do I, I do like this movie. I, I had a lot of fun watching it. I wasn't sure what I was getting into, uh, but Ryan Reynolds and, and Will Ferrell together was a pretty good combo. Uh it was interesting. I like I, I had no idea it was kind of a you know, a Christmas Carol story and uh I had fun with it, man. Like it was I felt like it was really well done. Like there was a lot of real good production value and and cinematography and I don't know. I I had a good time with it. I liked the story. The story was just absolutely fantastic. I love that Will Ferrell's character is a saved and reconfigured Scrooge, I guess. I, I guess that's the way you put it. I, I absolutely love that, that he died literally like three days after the infamous Christmas Carol story by, you know, Charles Dickens. And here he is spending two or 300 years reprising his, you know, the Christmas Carol story repeatedly as the ghost of Christmas present. I just, I think that was a great little twist. I, I really did. I think that added a lot to the story. And I like how the story... Uh, takes place where they are in an office setting and they have to orchestrate the uh, doing the Christmas Carol and it takes all year for them to plan it. They have interns and when everybody speaks, they they live in the world of musicals. Like all that shit was absolutely funny and great. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. Like I guess the world building of like, oh, you know, it, it takes a little while to get become like christmas past or or or, uh uh the present or the future you know like it was like they did a lot of planning like it was it was interesting to see that and that made a lot of sense you know it was just fun and unique and how they randomly pick people and then the original uh uh scrooge you know played by will ferrell was a uh un uh savable I don't un, remember un, the term. Unredeemable, right? Unredeemable. Unredeemable. Yeah. And that's why it was so infamous and it became this big story is because they did redeem him. And Ryan Reynolds is an unredeemable as well. And 
Will Ferrell just won't let it up. He won't. He has to save this guy because he has that personal connection being unredeemable. So honestly, I think the story on this was really good. It, I don't want to say it's better than Charles Dickens' story, but it's a fun, interesting take on it that's very different than, say, like Scrooged or any other take on Charles Dickens' story. This one is really kind of its own. Yeah, he- yeah, it it was pretty creative. Uh, I I I will give you that, man. I and, and I had a good time with it, man. I I really didn't know what I was getting into. I think that made that more fun for me. I was like, what? I don't even know what we're watching, but I had heard it's kind of good, and and why not? It's on Apple Plus. They they seem to have, you know, they have some hit or miss movies, and and I to me this one's a hit. I know, Matt. The singing, it's probably a miss for you, but. Yeah, dude, I, I, if I watch this ever again, I would be shocked. At least not voluntarily. So, so Matt, on the topic of Christmas movies, you know, I listed a couple there. W- w- what are the movies that you like to watch besides Die Hard and, and Elf? Um, Those are two that I like to watch every year. Um. You know, another good one is Silent Night, Deadly Night. Which version? There's like three of those. I like the original. Well, yeah, there's the sequels, you know, but I like the original. I think you can't go wrong with the original. It's a classic 80s horror slasher. Um, Let's see. Uh, a Christmas Story. You know, A Christmas Story is always really good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm story, wondering yeah. if we're going to get to that because there is a sequel to that that came out recently on HBO Max. So that might be part of our month-long Christmas film reviews or whatever. Um, Die Hard, of course. Uh, Home Alone is decent. I don't really watch that too, too much. But if it's on TV, I'll watch it. Um the one I absolutely love, and I don't remember if we reviewed it or not. I watch it every single time it's on TV. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That is just one of the best. I I love classic Chevy Chase. I do. Okay, yeah. Well, well, man. You know, we 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 try to watch that one as well. So it's like, uh, it's like Elf, Home Alone, uh, Christmas Vacation, um. I don't know. I'm trying to think of any other ones that we watch, but we we try and watch like a handful of movies, and uh, I don't know. They're just Christmas vacations. A lot of fun, man. It, it's a great one. Yeah, it, it's one of the best for me. And I think we did review it one year. I don't remember which year, but I'm pretty sure we reviewed it. Like, how could we not? Three hundred yeah. episodes. We had to have gotten it in there somewhere. And and, and I I do try and watch Crumpus. Even though it's kind of a, a weird horror uh, Christmas movie, I just like it. I don't know; it's just weird. I think I watched that once. Yeah, I think before I went out, and w- it was either before or after they had that one um, maze at um, Universal. Oh, I think you watched it after the it maze. It was after, cause you were right? Like, because yeah. you were trying to understand it. Yeah, I didn't get it right. Yeah, and it was it was entertaining. I, I'm not going to say it was good. I mean, it's a horror movie. It wasn't bad. It's a horror movie. Uh, I enjoyed myself. But, uh, Mike, speaking of holiday movies, why don't you tell our listeners about your pick for next week? All right, Matt. So uh, this, this, this one, uh, you know, it, it, it looks interesting, uh, to say the least. Uh, and it's... Uh, Silent Night, uh, Deadly Night. No, it is not Silent Night, Deadly Night. That's a horror movie. Damn, no, dude, no. you are really, really tired. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of ums and ahs and ohs and oh. It's Violent Night, starring Dave Harbour. Oh yes, <sighs> it remind. It's very reminiscent of Silent Night, Deadly Night. But I don't know if you've watched the trailers for it. I've seen a bunch of trailers for it. It yeah. actually reminds me kind of like Die Hard. Wow, that sounds great. Well, it's if you watch the trailers, it's uh, like a bunch of people are attacking this really wealthy family and like taking them hostage, and then Santa Claus shows up and he takes care of all the people in there. That 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 sounds very much Die Hardy in a way. Yeah, it does sound Die Hardy. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see it, dude. It looks 
interesting. And I mean, everybody loves John Leguizamo. I mean, when was the last time you saw him in a movie? It's been a long time, dude. I'm trying to think the last one. Uh, I don't know. Dude, Beverly D'Angelo is in it too. Speak of Christmas Vacation, there we go. Nice. Dude, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, the people are loving it because it just came out last week and it's number two in the box office. Uh, Wakanda Forever is still number one. So, Well, that makes sense, you know. All right, Mike. So since you're falling asleep, I mean, literally like falling asleep, you're like your head is like going into your keyboard. And I'm sure we're going to have to edit the F out of that shit. Mike, how many reels do you give Spirited? Uh, Matt, I'm going to give uh, Spirited four out of five reels. I had a good time, man. Dude, you and my freaking mom. My mom gave it four out of five reels. She absolutely loved it. Did she? Oh, yeah. She loved it. She, I think it's probably going to be on our list to watch every year, uh, like you. That's why I was kind of asking that, because I think she'll probably do it. Granted, she doesn't have Apple TV+. Plus. She had to go and see it in the theaters. But um, I think she might have to buy it in Blu-ray if it ever comes out, because I think she liked it a lot, at least according to the radio s- this morning. Wow. Well, that that's cool, man. I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, I know it's it's all singy and whatever musical and all that but you know you love a good south park you know movie with singing and stuff i in team america lots of singing yeah i, I don't know but those songs were brutal they, these songs were cute except for you know uh good afternoon <laughs> that was my favorite song i loved it good afternoon <laughs> like how did who the hell came up with good afternoon for being a, a diss like in you know big bang theory they always use um raj always use uh uh no wasn't it not big bang theory that was uh that 70s show um he always used uh i said good day <laughs> nice it reminds me very much of that you know good afternoon i said good day <laughs> <laughs> he's like that was a big insult yeah <laughs> but anyways so, Mike, uh, I'm looking forward to Violent Night. Uh, we'll see how that goes. It's doing good at the box office. Uh, I I hope it's better than my rating for this week. I mean, I give Spirited two and a half, dude. Two and a half. Wow. All right. Hey, dude, you know, it's fine. You know, we're not going to like everything. No, it's just not my thing, man. It is just not my thing. And I said that going into it, but I still picked it because I figured you were going to like it. And I was right. Well, uh, you know, it's kind of a Christmas movie and all that, so that that's good. Oh, Mike, speaking of Christmas movies, you know they remade Home Alone? What? what? Yeah. Did you ever watch it? I think it's on Disney+. Plus. No, I didn't know they remade it. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 so there's your assignment. When you're bored, you need to watch the new Home Alone. I think it came out like a year or two ago. It was a Disney Plus uh, original or whatever. I don't think it did very well at all. That's why you don't hear about it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, Matt, I was just, I was just thinking here. What do you did think about mistletoe jingle? Mistletoe jingle. Yeah, dude. That's that's what what our 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 holiday thing. Mistletoe jingles. No. I, no, I think we need Mike. You need to work on it. We got okay. time. Right, we got right. time. It's the first one of whatever the hell this thing we're gonna call. T- so Tenenbaum, something. I think we just call it uh, Santa's balls. Okay, Santa's balls rating. Santa's jingle balls. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Santa's jingle. All right, dude. I like it. You got you got me with jingle. <laughs> 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 or or jingle? I don't know. No, no, you it's me jingle. 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 It's got to be jingle. Okay. Yes, it's got to be jingle. There we go. S- Santa's jingle balls. Santa's jingle balls. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the the sensors are gonna like that one. Well, it's no hard. It's okay, man. It, it, well, you know, we're not reviewing Bad Santa or Bad Santa Two, so we're good. 
Uh, dude, I think we've already done Bad Santa, haven't we? Uh, yeah, I'm just saying we're 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 not doing Bad Santa or Bad Santa Two. Okay, all right, so we're all right then. Yeah, well, we'll fine. we'll see. We'll find out how bad Violent Night is as far as I mean ratings. Isn't it rated R? Uh, yeah, I think it's rated R. I think it is because I know there's a lot of murder in it. Uh, yeah, rated R. It's an hour and fifty two minutes. Almost got to that ninety minute mark, man. Almost. Almost. So, all right. Well, Mike, why don't you do your thing? All right. Well, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, episode 301. And uh, make sure to enter our contest uh, to win the uh, John Wick Steel Book Series uh, for episode 300. And uh, go ahead and listen to episode 300 to find out how. And uh, follow us on the socials. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and uh, go out there, stream a movie, or go uh, watch a movie in the theater, and uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Thank you for listening to The Real Film Nerds. Now, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Real Film Nerds. Now, go out and catch a movie. Wait, hold on. Matt Henshaw in studio with me this morning on Magic 99.1. How you doing, Maddie? Ugh. Wait, what, <laughs> what movie are we supposed to be talking you about? You saw the movie Spirited, and I know you saw it because you texted me. Let me Google it. Hold on. And you asked me if I was going to watch it, and I said I would, but I didn't. Why I mean, didn't come you watch on. it? Okay, because we have football, we have basketball, we have soccer and hockey all going on right now. And I just didn't have time. And movies are so much better. <laughs> I don't know. The drama and sports can be quite entertaining. I, okay. I won't argue against yes, that. And yeah. I know you love your drama. Yeah. Well, and Spirited is not Not a drama. a drama. What is it? It is... A comedy, a comedy. I think. It's a musical. It's a we know musical, that. Musical comedy. Can and Will Ferrell know, sing? He's actually not terrible. Okay. I'm not going to say he's going to win any awards for right? singing, <laughs> but he's not terrible. Okay. So I don't like musicals. I just don't. I see that. Uh, in you. As much as I like Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds, I just don't. Yeah. And uh, I, I think the best part of this film was probably the story. It was fun. But isn't it the same story no. that we've seen over and over and over again? No, it's very different. Like oh. it's it has the Christmas Carol undertones, right? Especially Will Ferrell. Yeah. But uh, it's 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 different. a different story. Yeah, Thank it's a very goodness. different story. But it has you know your typical ghosts of past, present, and future, right. and all that stuff. But there's some pretty fun little twists on it. Okay. Um. I, I, you know, it's okay. I wouldn't rush to watch it, even if you have Apple TV Plus. Uh, right. I, it's, it just. You told me I would love it. I think you would love it. Yes. Yeah. I think younger folks would love it. Thank I mean, there's, you, Matt. There's quite a bit of swearing in it. <laughs> Ooh. Not, not like horrible. Yeah. But like for like a, a for ten a year old, mo- and for a, a ten year old, it might be rough. It's yeah. rated PG thirteen. Okay. So for a ten year old, it might be rough. A little bit older, sure, but right. it very is childlike okay. in the, its presentation and everything. And um, but it's w- not for children. No, no, right. I would not say. And one of my complaints is, uh, I, I love Ryan Reynolds to death. I think mm-hmm. he's a great actor, but I'm starting to get tired of his acting. It's just him being himself. Uh-huh. And it's just the same thing again. Right. You know, I've seen this. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, he's just being who he is. And it's just kind of like, okay, great. Next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's a fair review. What are you giving it? How many reels? (sighs) Two and a half. Two and a half out of five? Yeah. Oh, that's a solid C. Yeah. Okay. All right. C's to get degrees, though. They do. C's to get degrees, (laughs) as you know. I'm Ouch. sure. <laughs> Let's give your mom a call. She's coming up on Magic. Happy Jingle. Happy, happy, my Henshaw on Magic 99.1. How are you? Doing just great. That a girl. Christmas. Yeah, I feel it. Do you? Oh, absolutely. My grandbaby saw your parade this weekend. Oh, and what did the grandbaby think of the parade? She loved it. 
<laughs> I absolutely loved it. How do you know? She doesn't talk. She just sleeps and poops. She probably smiled once or twice. Sure. Giggled oh, a little. Oh, she smiled. She smiled and looked at everything, <laughs> and she really enjoyed it. I know. That's fantastic. Everybody that went enjoyed it for sure. And, um, you know, speaking of the Christmas spirit, you saw Spirited this past week. What would you think, Ma? I thought it was good. I It's very unique. Unique. Okay, I'm glad to hear that because when I saw that it's the, you know, like basically a musical version of the story that we've seen a bazillion times, I was thinking it no, might be boring. It's not. Okay. It is really not a, a musical version okay. of that. Okay. It has some Ma- really good points to it. Very are you, good. Are you eating breakfast? And- are you eating breakfast right now? Oops, I took a bite. I'm sorry. She has one job. I know. One job. I know. She has one job. Pick up the phone and talk. And all I she forgot. does, I'm sorry. this is not new. I'll call my mom sometimes yeah. at like, you know, 10 o'clock at night and she's always eating something. <laughs> Fudge. All you do is eat. Well, I'm better than drink, I guess, huh? Because you usually blame her for that. Well, oh, I didn't say there wasn't any drinking involved. <laughs> okay, I don't. I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue. Oh, yeah, you did. Anyway, it, it the dancing is awesome. It's great. It's not a Christmas movie for little kids. Okay, why it's is, is more there for teenagers is there and nudi- adults? Is there nudity in it? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. You never know. I noticed that. Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Well, okay. How many cookies are you going to give it? Four. Four cookies. Madeline gave it two and a half. <gasps> I know. Oh, man. I no. know. It's a solid C. Great. Now I'm going to get shamed. Will Ferrell's a good singer, and, and Ryan's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Question. How many times did you fall asleep during this one? Because that will None. determine how much you enjoyed None, it. None, she said. Oh, she's lying. Uh-uh. <laughs> I did not. Okay, and what about anybody else that's in your household that might have watched it with you? Did they fall asleep? They didn't watch it with me. Okay. My husband says, ew, it's a musical. <laughs> ew. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right, Ma Hinshaw, we love you. Thank you for chatting with us this morning on what station? Magic 99.1. Talk to you next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so what are we watching this week? Well, at least she got her second part of her job right. Right. She got the magic right. down. That's she the most important that part. Yeah. It took how many months to get that, but yeah, we got there. Years, years. years but anyway. Years. So uh, we're still going to go watch a Christmas movie. It just came out this past weekend, so a lot of people have probably oh. already seen it okay. or maybe already seen it. You might have seen the trailers. The stars David Harbour as Santa Claus. Oh. It's called Violent Night. Oh, my Lord. I saw the preview for that. And I just shook my head. Why? Why not? I mean, why would they make a horror Christmas flick? It's not horror. It's it action. looks like it. It's it, I, from the previews I've watched. It reminds me very much of like uh, Die Hard, but like Santa Claus plays Bruce Willis. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Okay. All right. I bet you'll love this one. I'm sure I will. All right. Catch the podcast, people. It's called The Real Film Nerds, and uh, you can catch Maddie here every Monday morning. Oh. It's Tuesday on what station? Every Tuesday morning. No, it's every Monday. <laughs> yeah. But don't forget, we have our contest still going on for uh, our 300th episode. I can t- say what we're giving away because I announced it, but we're giving away a box set of John Wick. Ooh, a box set of John Wick. And all yeah. you have to do, Matt, is? Uh, email us. Okay, at? Matt at realfilmnerds.com. Matt at realfilmnerds. That's R-E-E-L. Filmnerds.com. Thank you, Maddie. No, thank you, Lisa. You're welcome.